My name is Josh Reynolds. I work for Wapaka Foundry. I'm an electrical engineer. I've been with the company for approximately two years. When I'm starting on a project, I will identify the process that needs implementing, research the equipment to perform the work, design the controls, inspect the power requirements, and also the safety features. I will schedule the installation, contract labor to install the machine, and connect all the wiring. I'll also verify the functionality of the equipment once it's installed. An electrical engineer at Wapaka uses AutoCAD for designing the machine, laying it out, installing the machine, and we also have to have something on file there for our maintenance so that the equipment can be serviced at a later time. When we design a piece of equipment, we not only look at the efficiency of the equipment, but the efficiency of the operator. We all try to come together and make it easier on the operator. We have a piece of equipment called the pick and sort. It's a vibratory shaker. The material was not flowing properly, so we had to change electrical motors. We had to change out the pick and sort shaker itself. We redesigned the material flow and updated controls on it that helped the operator do his job. A human machine interface, or HMI, it's a way for the machine to communicate with the operator. It will warn the operator of certain faults or the status of the machine. There's many types of controls that can be integrated into a piece of equipment. It can be a safety feature such as a light curtain, or it could be as simple as a start stop switch. Safety is key here at Wapaka. Our main feed into the foundry is 13,200 volts. We have equipment in here that consumes an enormous amount of energy. Our largest furnace is rated at 1,000 kilowatt. That means in 11 hours of operation, our furnace will consume as much power as a typical house would the entire year. I always had a deep love for science and math. You have quite a bit of math quite a bit of science in the engineering field. I went to a community college where I completed my associate's degree and I transferred into the University of Tennessee. I'll have a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering with a concentration in power and power distribution. When I hired in at WAPAC, I started in electrical maintenance. I worked there approximately a year. A job became available in the engineering department they knew that I was going to school and working on my degree. They interviewed me for that job and I was hired. The most important thing that I do is help people out in the floor do their work. Wapaka looks after its employees. It offers a good benefit package. There's a lot of job opportunity and advancement here at Wapaka. If I can help make the company money, it's beneficial to everybody. I feel a lot of satisfaction when I get done with a project, when I design a piece of equipment that functions the way I designed it. When the job is complete, when it's uh, within budget and done in a safe manner, I know I've done my job.